guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. Today we are doing a video on binding tips and binder safety. Okay, so before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the channel that is linked in the comment section um, or the description box. Uh, I don't know where it's going to be. Anyways, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm not good at binding myself, but I do have a lot of tips and I know all of the safety stuff because I've researched a lot. <laughs> so, so first of all, this is a binder. This is a binder that I got, um, but it didn't fit and I'm waiting to return it. So I'm just going to use it for this example in the video. <laughs> so basically it's like a really stretchy fabric, um, almost like a bathing suit. And then uh, on the part that would go across your chest, it's like a very uh, solid fabric that doesn't stretch and that's the part that's compressing your chest. And so... So as I was editing this clip, I realized that I was not qualified to teach you how to put a binder on. So I would recommend looking at COVID King Sarad's channel at his older videos of how to put a binder on because he has great videos explaining how. So obviously, um, never wear your binder for more than eight hours at a time. If you need to, you could stretch that to 10 hours possibly, but don't go over that. Never ever sleep in your binder, ever. Um, make sure to take binder breaks, even if you are, so if you bind for eight hours, you need to do that with binder breaks or take binder breaks after the eight hours, if that makes sense. And if you ever feel like tightness or you're having trouble breathing you have to take your binder off because that's not good never swim in your binder unless it is like a large binder like larger than you would use to actually bind or if it's like a specialized swimming binder um make sure that the binder is the right size and that it's not pushing too hard because you know if you have the right size binder, it's not going to make your chest completely flat unless you have like no boobs. Um, so don't expect it to be like the flattest thing that you've ever seen because that is not going to happen unless you're wearing an unsafe binder. Okay, um, never bind with ace bandages ever. So here's why is because number one, Ace bandages are meant for injuries, and so every time that injury moves, that ace bandage is going to tighten around it so that it can't move and you won't hurt yourself more. So if you put that around your chest, every time your chest moves, those band-aids are going to tighten. So obviously that's not good. Also, ace bandages, um, they are also just like way too tight um in general and they're not meant to bind your chest they can break your ribs give you breast cancer um just overall not good and if you bind with them that could mess up your chances for top surgery later in life and it can mess up so that you'll never be able to bind again so just don't do it <laughs> okay now let's talk about what are we going to talk about um uh, let's talk about alternative binding so I talked a little bit about this in my other video, but um, some alternatives to binding if you don't have a binder. Um, number one is sports bras. So if you have um, a sports bra that's just a little bit too small for you, you can wear um, one normal sports bra and then you can wear the tighter one backwards um, or forwards, I guess, but it's probably not gonna do much if it's forwards. Um, don't wear anything with cups or anything that's meant to push up because obviously that's not going to do anything. Um, and if you look up homemade binders on YouTube, um, that will probably give you a lot of tips and like ways to make your own, um, like camisoles. Um, if you have a smaller chest, you can like cut up camisoles and wrap them around, um, yeah, there's a bunch of ways that you can bind if you don't have a binder, so don't worry. 
Also, if you want to get a binder without your parents knowing, um, I will have, there's a person who um, <clears throat> does stuff t through TikTok and <clears throat> that is the place where I uh, get, got the binder that was too small for me through. Um, so yeah, I will put their TikTok down below. Please do not enter those giveaways if you are cis and wanting binder. Cis people can bind, but don't take binders away from trans people. And if you are able to get a binder, your parents are supportive of you getting a binder, please do not enter those giveaways. Those giveaways are for trans people that cannot get it. So yeah. Okay, so other things that you can do, um, obviously never bind with duct tape on bare skin, but something that you can do and this should only be used in the most dire of times for the shortest amount of time possible is you can get a tank top <clears throat> and then or put a bra on put a tank top over that and then you can safely and not too tightly um try to duct tape kind of now this is again not the safest option do not do this for more than an hour or two at a time. This is in the most dire of situations. You can also use packing tape or masking tape. I've done that before. It works. Just make sure that nothing is touching your bare skin. If you want something that can touch your bare skin, try athletic tape or binding tape. I just got myself a roll of binding tape. Um, and... Uh, athletic tape can work the same way, but in a lot of pharmacies, they do sell trans tape. But if you can't find trans tape, um, binding tape, or sorry, athletic tape is pretty much the same thing. So how you put on binding tape, pretty much, I don't want to get like demonetized or censored or anything, but basically you're just going to take your chest and like pull it to the side and you're gonna put the tape like here-ish, not like over, but like on the side and then pull it back onto your back. And that's the best way that I can explain it. Um, I am not that qualified to teach you how to put on binding tape, so uh, please refer to other YouTube videos when trying to put it on. Okay, so other binding tips, or binding safety. Um, do not exercise in your binder. Do not, yeah, don't exercise in your binder because of obvious reasons. Um, if you want to do like gym class in your binder, that's probably fine as long as you're not doing anything vigorous. But if you want to do sports in your binder, that's a no-no. Um, so you can get sports bras or, um, a looser binder. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure they also make binders for sports that are like made to not constrict you too much um and also binding tape is a great uh alternative to binding for sports since that doesn't constrict your breathing too much but you are getting sweaty so it might fall off also swimming they make special binding tape for swimming um so yeah that's another alternative for swimming okay so for washing your binder um you most binders are going to say hand wash. There are some binders that can be machine washed, but for the most part, part um, binders have to be hand washed. So just hand wash it. Um, it will have directions on the tag and then hang it to dry. Don't put it in the dryer. Um, and then if you need to do that without your parents knowing, um, you can wash it in the shower when you're just taking, when you're taking a shower, just like wash it in there and then just try to find a place to hang it up to dry like in your cl in the big oh my gosh I cannot talk in the back of your closet um just like put it on a hanger and put it in the back of your closet um or if they don't come in your room just like hang it up to dry in your room um yeah so the best places to buy binders would be GC2V definitely um underworks is okay some people like them some people don't don't buy binders off of Amazon. I know they can be really tempting as like a young trans kid who doesn't have any other way to get things other than Amazon, but it is really not a good idea. Amazon binders are not meant for to be binders. They're, if you look at the listings, most of them 
say like tomboy and stuff on them so they're really not meant to be like trans mask binders and a lot of them are really unsafe you're for most people the ones with clasps although they seem like a good idea they are not a good idea like the ones with velcro not a good idea so yeah um some things that can also be like alternative binders or sport or swimming binders um if you've been on tiktok um if you're on trans tiktok um the uh, there are like oh my gosh there are like these like hollister bra cami things that um they're ribbed and they surprisingly bind really well <laughs> um and also there's some at target i believe so yeah and then if you get a zip up sports bra those can also be really good for binding and if you can't bind just put on a sports bra and baggy t-shirts that's what i do <laughs> And it doesn't work that well, but it works some. <laughs> Another great thing is vests because like if you're really hot in the summer and you can't wear like a jacket or anything, vests will just hide the exact parts that you want to be hidden. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if you have questions about anything. Um, this is going to be posted on both of my channels, so subscribe to this channel and whichever channel is uh, linked in the description box. Uh, make sure to like this video, hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Leave video suggestions down or uh, questions down in the comments and have an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, love you.